Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I'm doing a project inside the house. It has nothing to do with the Jeep or the bike. Uh, it's a whole house fan. Um, some houses you can you, you can buy the other kit and you know cut your ceiling and put these fancy louvers and things like that. Uh, but I'm doing it uh, a DIY thing that I've seen online, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, basically, this is my add a catch. Uh, I took down the original piece and I got a 3 8 uh, inch thick piece of plywood and I cut it to the size of the opening and then I'm going to put a 20 inch fan. I'm going to mount it somewhere around there after I cut off the circle and then I'm going to plug it in and what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to um, like during the cooler days in the summertime or whatnot, that we have to have your AC running all the time, is you turn on this fan and you open up a window and it'll create like a vacuum and take all the hot air from the inside of the house and make the house cooler on the inside and make your uh, your attic cooler as well. Uh, and it helps with a bunch of other stuff. If you read online about it, uh, a whole house fan, they call it. Uh, it'll tell you more. The reasoning behind it and you know I just briefly read what it should do and stuff like that it's supposed to save electricity and your cooling bills and all that other stuff uh, so I figured I'd give it a shot uh, like I said I just got a 3 8 three eighths inch thick piece of plywood uh, the good stuff from Home Depot um, and I drew my circle on there uh, with a, a compass that my uncle made and then I used which was really cool but um the next time you see it I'll have a, a hole and maybe a fan attached to it or just a hole on the plywood where the circle is until then see ya hey guys I'm back um following up on my project that I'm doing for a whole house fan um as you can see this is my attic hatch um went home depot got me a piece of plywood, uh, the nice stuff, not the cheap stuff. Um, made a 20 inch circle and then I cut it out. I used a reciprocating saw, a small one, uh, but probably a jigsaw would be better or something, but I didn't have one. Uh, but so far that's what it looks like. Uh, so now I gotta just find a fan that will fit. The hole is 20 inches. So, I mean, the hole is 20 inches. I gotta find something that's a little bit bigger than 20, so maybe like 21 with the, the cage and all that stuff. Or maybe I can modify it or something to make it work. But uh, 20 inch fan, most of those are pretty common. Uh, for whole house fans, I was looking at the, the really cool ones and the CFMs. Um, I guess that's how much you know air it pushes or whatever they're about like six thousand plus um i'm looking at a high velocity fan just like a regular commercial fan uh but it's high velocity and it, i think the one i that i'm gonna get is like 32 or 33 on high uh cfms so like 30 yeah like 3000 something cfm so it's half of what one of the uh professional ones would be uh, but if I can find one that pushes more that'd be great uh, other than that that's what it looks like so far circles pretty clean except for a couple spots um, like I said I didn't use a jigsaw I use a small little uh, reciprocating saw uh, hopefully it'll fit and then I can attach it to whatever left I have here or or rig it I got plenty of Wood over here to do stuff. Um, same thing over here. I got plenty of wood. Just on the edges, I'll probably have to figure out something. But uh, that's what it looks like. See ya! Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I bought the fan the other day and I didn't screw it in or anything like that to the, to the wood yet. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, basically, it's uh, a fan from Home Depot. 
20 inch high velocity fan, four fan, three speeds. Uh, looks like that, but I took off the legs. Um, this is what it's going to look like <coughs> once I secure, uh, once I line everything up uh, and I secure the, the bottom portion to the wood and then the top one once I line up the holes correctly. Uh, probably going to use like, I don't know, kind of screws. Maybe a, like a nut and bolt type screw, really thin ones. Um, cause it uses these to hold on, on the little, the cage on the top. So maybe I'll use something like that, a little bit longer, with like a lock nut and washer and stuff. But this is what it looks like. Um, see there's plenty of clearance for the fan. Uh, like I said, it's not centered yet. Still gotta move it around a little bit. That way it'd be even on both sides and stuff. But uh just wanna show you what it's look like. It's coming along pretty good. So far I'm pretty excited. Um the next clip would be uh probably me putting it inside the attic hole and plugging it in and see what happens. Until then, see ya! Hey guys, I'm back. Um I secured the fan, the shroud and the fan to the to the wood. Um, I used uh, drywall screws that went all the way through. Um, it should hold. Um, I didn't have any other kind of screws, but um, that's the way it looks. Stand it up too. So it looks like that. You see how the screw goes through? The holes on this side were smaller, so I used a screw a little bit bigger that way, you know. It makes a hole bigger and basically like a custom hole. Um, hard part was trying to line up the holes with the pre-drilled holes that I did. But uh, other than that, uh, let's see if we can turn it on real quick. Put it on low. Doesn't rub. Nothing. Pretty pretty windy. It moves a lot of air. I'm probably maybe right now 12 feet away from the, my basement door. So, I move there. I can feel it sucking back here too. That's on number one. Number two. That's B2. Oh, moving on a picture. Number three. So, that's it, no rubbing, no nothing. It's pretty cool. So, I'm gonna go uh, throw it up in the attic and see what happens. Uh, next video. See ya! All right, that's what it looks like. Uh, right now I just have the cord going, the extended cord, we can test it out. Um, I wanna put an outlet over here somewhere. I can just tap off this light right here or whatnot and maybe put an outlet here. Um, let's fire it up, see what happens. Number one. Oh, yeah. Doing something. Always had a like a smoke stick or something like that to see if it's actually sucking, you know? I mean, it feels like it is.
don't know how to test to see the second. Oh well, that's that's what I was, you know, this is what I wanted to try to do, see what happens. Um, that's what it looks like. It's off center a little bit. I'll take it on that side and that side. But uh, maybe it gives you an idea or something like that. Uh, maybe you can do two fans, two smaller fans. I don't know. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, other than that, I've got the from Home Depot, fans from Home Depot. Uh, screws I already had. Saw I already had. So, the fan cost me about 45 bucks, the wood around 20. So, about 70 bucks, 80 bucks. That's it. Hope you like it. See ya.